In this lesson, we want to write a quadratic equation in standard form. A quadratic equation has x squared as its highest power. Besides the methods of solving already analyzed, of factoring and completing the square, we now will focus on preparing to use the quadratic formula. In order to make this easier, we will write our equation in what's called standard form. In other words, something x squared plus something x plus a number equals zero. Notice the exponents of x are in descending order, x to the second, x to the first, x to the zero. And then we'll identify the values of a, b, and c. So what we want to do is write each of the following in standard form and label the values of a, b, and c. Notice here that we already have x squared, and then an x term, and then a number term. So in this case, a has a value of, since it's an understood one, we have a equals one, we have b equals five, because that's the number in front of x, and c equals negative six. Don't leave off the negative sign, that's very critical. How about 9x squared minus 16 equals 0? Here, um, we have a. Notice there's no x term. So what does that mean? So this is c. So we have a will be equal to 9. b, because it's not present, must have canceled out. So b has a value of 0. And c has a value of negative 16. This second equation, by the way, is called pure quadratic because it doesn't have an x term in it. Suppose we have x squared minus 3x plus 5 equals 3 minus x. Well, we want to bring the x terms to the left, so we add x to both sides. So we're left with x squared. And there's an understood one here. Minus 3 plus 1 gives us negative 2x plus 5 equals, the x's cancel, so we're left with 3. We also want to get a 0 on the right, so let's minus 3 from both sides. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 2 equals 0. So we have a, b, and c. a has a value of 1, b has a value of negative 2, c has a value of 2. Let's try one more. 3x squared minus 1 equals 2x squared plus 1 minus 5x. Let's subtract 2x squareds from both sides of the equation. So now we would have 1x squared minus 1 equals 1 minus 5x. Now how about if we add 5x to both sides of the equation? Notice there is no x term on the left, so we'll simply insert it in the correct place, we would like to have the x term as the second term. These cancel, we're left with 1. And finally, if we minus 1 from both sides of the equation, we're left with 1x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. So we have our value of a, b, and c. In this case, a would have a value of 1, b would have a value of 5, and c would have a value of negative 2. I'd like to finish this lesson by giving the derivation of the quadratic formula. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. We use the method of completing the square in order to find out the value of x. Now instead of numbers, like we had before, we have letters. So first we move the constant term c to the other side by subtracting c. Now the x squared plus bx equals negative c. Notice I left a space here for this. I would prefer to have a 1x squared, so we divide through by a. Each term needs to be divided by a. So I have a over a is 1x squared plus b over ax equals negative c over a. Now remember the method of completing the square, we take half of this term. How do you take half of it? You put a 2 down here. Let's take it here and square it. So if you squared, b times b is b squared, 2 times 2 is 4, and a times a is a squared. So we add b squared over 4a squared to the left we also add it to the right hand side. If we go to factor this trinomial, remember this key number b over 2a is the part that's going to help us. So if we take b over 2a, x plus this squared, that factors the left hand side. Over here, let's write the, the b squared term first, b squared over 4a minus c over a. Now we want to get a common denominator of 4a squared, so we're missing a 4a. We multiply the numerator and denominator by 4a. So we have b squared minus 4ac 
and they both have the same denominator of 4a squared. If we now take the square root of both sides, the square root of x plus b over 2a squared is x plus b over 2a. Take the square root of the right side, take the square root of b squared minus 4ac over four, the square root of 4a squared. We broke it into two parts. Notice we have both a plus and a minus. Notice here the denominator, the square root of 4a squared, the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of a squared is a. Now we're trying to get x by itself, so we want to get rid of plus b over 2a, so we minus b over 2a from the left and from the right hand side. So x equals negative b over 2a plus and minus the radical over 2a. We're almost to the end, and now notice they both have 2a in the denominator, so we can write it as one fraction, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is known as a quadratic formula, and in order to be successful, you must memorize this formula.